Nine people arrested while demonstrating the shooting death of Botham Jean walked out of jail today after two days behind bars. The group was accused of blocking traffic during a demonstration outside AT&T Stadium this weekend. Our Jason Allen is live for us in Fort Worth tonight. And Jason, they questioned why they spent two nights in jail for a misdemeanor charge. Ken, they expected to be out the same night. Instead, they spent a night in Arlington, then they spent a night here, and then eventually walked out today with what essentially boiled down to about a $100 ticket. Nine men and women left the Tarrant County Jail Tuesday long after they expected to. At the least, we thought we would have um, at least had uh, spoke to a judge um, Sunday or at least Monday. $100, $100 a $10 bond so for tax, protesting. Tax and they said after a longer stay than a police officer, they were demanding against. We shouldn't have even been in there. And McGregor didn't stay in there. She walked in and walked out. The group was part of a crowd outside AT&T Stadium Sunday, trying to draw more attention to the shooting death of Botham John by Dallas Police Officer Amber Geiger. Arlington Police took them into custody for a misdemeanor charge of obstructing a highway. We were in no, a crosswalk. crosswalk, praying in the crosswalk. We were praying in the crosswalk, and they allowed us to do that. They stopped the traffic for us, and then said that we were not allowed to leave. Some cities were concerned early this year that a shift to having the sheriff hold everyone arrested could leave people in jail longer for lesser crimes. It's the way every Texas county does it, though, and meant to set bonds that are more fair across the board. One defense attorney following the change told us today it is becoming less common to see a person booked in over the weekend to be in custody until Tuesday without a bond. However, delays occasionally happen. For instance, if the judge is waiting on paperwork from the arresting agency or an evaluation to be completed. Sheriff's Office didn't respond to questions today. That group of nine now has a couple attorneys putting together a legal team to handle their cases for low cost or possibly free. Live in Fort Worth tonight, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.